Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Gonna go over a free PC title you can pick up over at GOG right now, so you can check that out. Obviously, gonna be reiterating Humble Choice for a while. I'm sorry, you guys, you gotta deal with shill mode, because this Humble Choice is damn good, just like back in May, uh, with Yakuza Like a Dragon, as well as Hi-Fi Rush. This one, you can make an argument whether or not it's as good, but I think it's a pretty damn good Humble Choice, all things considered. And I do want to note a couple of good deals from our good friends over at Green Man Gaming. We'll talk those at the end of this video. More expensive uh, deals as far as those are concerned, but Again, we'll mention those at the end. Right off the top, the First Templar Special Edition is available free over at GOG. The First Templar follows the story of two main characters, a French Templar and his companion, a noble lady who has been proclaimed a heretic. Taking control over those two unlikely allies, the player must uncover the mysteries behind the Templar Order, play a role in a grand conspiracy, and discover the secret of the Holy Grail. The heroes face powerful opponents at every turn, including... King Philip IV of France and the Inquisition. The First Templar features both single-player and co-op modes. When playing solo, the player can switch between the two characters, leaving the control of the second hero to the game's AI. At any moment, a second player can join in and take control of the AI-controlled hero. Key features note expansive historical game world return to the 13th century where European culture is on the brink of collapse. 20 historically accurate locations from around Europe have been recreated for the player to explore. One player, multiple roles, instantly swap between playable characters focusing on the best for the job. Drop in, drop out, co-op play allows a friend to help out as well. Fast-paced action-based play, unlock furious combos to unleash upon waves of challenging opponents, and RPG-inspired character development. Each character has unique abilities and skill trees which players develop as they explore the game's world. The First Templar, again, is available free over at GOG. This isn't a game that was received incredibly well. I actually remember when this game initially came out, and I want to say this was like one that got like mostly fun. 5 out of 10s and whatnot. Yeah, actually, I'm right on the money. It's got a 57 on Metacritic, so... Take that for what you will. Uh, the game is on sale on Steam for $3.99. Mostly positive reception on there. 495 reviews. 73% of those reviews are actually positive, so a little bit better of a reception on Steam, all things considered, but... Again, free on GOG. Go check that out. All right, moving on from that. Obviously, you guys, you got to deal with a little bit of shill mode when it comes to Humble Choice for the next 30 or so days uh, because this Humble Choice is pretty damn good. It's got a lot of great stuff in it. Right off the top, a Plague Tale Requiem is definitely uh, well worth it for this Humble Choice alone. Uh, Plague Tale Requiem, let's actually pull up what the price is on Steam right now. I want to say it's $21, but I might be wrong on that. Uh, Plague Tale Requiem is $19.99, so it's $20 on uh, Steam. Obviously, um, you know, much better to go the Humble Choice route where you pay $12 and you get Plague Tale Requiem, and then you also get Ghost Runner 2, which is excellent, uh, given that that game just came out back in October. That is an excellent addition alongside Plague Tale Requiem. And then, yes, the rest of the games aren't like huge Starship Troopers, Terrain Command, Sticky Business, Zoetti, Figment 2, Creed Valley, Heretics Fork, and Hyperviolent. I can't Really speak much more on those titles, but the top two games already make it incredibly worthwhile as far as uh, value goes. It is just an incredible value given the in uh, the content you're getting. You're already paying a discount for Plague Tale Requiem. Like, Plague Tale Requiem alone for $12 is a phenomenal deal, but getting Ghost Runner 2, Ghost Runner 2 for $12, I believe that's the price point of the game on Steam. Uh, yeah, Ghost Runner 2 is $11.99 right now on Steam, so... Um, you know, $20 for Plague Tale Requiem, Ghost Runner 2 is $12, that's a $32 value right there, uh, so just to get those two games for 12 bucks would be an incredible value, but then you got a bunch of smaller games on top of that with Star uh, Starship Troopers, Sticky Business, Zoetti, Figment 2, Heretics Fork, and Hyper Violent, and, uh, yeah, add those to your library as well, just a great, great bundle, and then obviously you get access to the Humble Trove, you get an 85% off Plague Tale Innocence coupon as well, what would that knock down? Plague Tale Innocence 2, I believe it would be like $6, which is a great deal for Plague Tale Innocence as well. So if you do need to play Plague Tale Innocence, that's actually really, really smart that they, um, you know, added that in there. How much is Plague Tale Innocence on Steam? I believe it's $7.99. Uh, Plague Tale Innocence is in fact $7.99, but uh, with the Humble Choice coupon, you'd get it for $5.99 on uh, Humble, uh, Humble.com, and then you could redeem that. Obviously, all these redeem directly on Steam, and you would be cooking at that point, as they say. So, uh, yeah, great bundle there. All right, a couple 
of other deals over at our good friends at GMG. Gonna give a couple PlayStation games a mention. I know some of you guys have it out for PlayStation at this point. Uh, God of War 2018, 58% off for $28. We are coming up on the release of God of War Ragnarok. Kind of insane. Like, I remember Ragnarok coming out... Uh, you know, fairly recently, and now it's already on its way to PC. It would be the quickest turnaround for a brand new game on PC ever. I think there is something to say about that. Um, I guess you could look at, like, LEGO Horizon Adventures and, uh, you know, Concord and games like that that are having day and date releases, but you get the idea for, like, a title that Sony wanted to all, uh, have timed exclusivity with and a game that's not, like, a remaster or anything like that. God of War Ragnarok is the quickest turnaround, although God of War Ragnarok also the first single-player game that is, uh, uh, making PlayStation Network account looking mandatory, so that's a little bit whack to say the least. But God of War 2018 is a tremendous game, and I actually liked God of War 2018 better than Ragnarok, but you know, your opinion may vary on that. Just thought it was a tremendous, tremendous game. Narratively is great, and obviously, if you are familiar with the older God of War games, it would be beneficial, but it's not necessary. Like, you can still have a good time with God of War 2018. PC port was great. Runs on the deck, ally, all that good stuff. $21 for that is great. Next up, one of the PlayStation releases on PC that doesn't get a lot of love, Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection is 58% off for $21, and I wonder why it doesn't get a lot of love. Oh, I don't know, maybe Maybe because Sony decided not to port the first three Uncharted games, which don't give me the excuse that they're PlayStation 3 games. They have a remastered collection on PS4, and they've regularly ported PS4 titles. I, the, the reasoning they gave on why they didn't port Uncharted 1 through 3 is so stupid that the games are too dated and PC audience, modern PC audiences wouldn't enjoy it. So... Instead of porting the first three Uncharted games, which this is a narrative-driven franchise, by the way... Because Uncharted 4 technically is better, let's just jump y'all right into Uncharted 4. Like, do you guys realize how incompetent that is? Literally, in Uncharted 4, one of the opening sequences of this game is a really cool sequence if you played the other three games where Nate is calling back to his adventures in the previous three games. And if you just played Uncharted 4, you would be like, what is going on here? It's just nonsensical. Sony, can we please get the Nathan Drake trilogy on PC? Like, thank you. And, uh, yeah, let's get that done. And that would incentivize people to check out Legacy of Thieves collection as well. But, you know, that's a rant that I can go on over and over again. Uncharted 4 itself is a phenomenal game. Absolutely loved it. Thought it was a fantastic game. It's not my favorite. Uncharted 2 still is my favorite game, but from a visual standpoint, it is tremendous. You know, there's some plot twists and some narrative elements that I wasn't crazy about. Like, it kind of just seemed like pulling things out of thin air, but... I digress, it's still a great game, and you got Lost Legacy here as well, which is a quality standalone expansion for $21, damn good pickup there. And then lastly, I'll give a shout out to Kingdom Hearts Integrum Masterpiece, 43% off for $56.57. Remember, with all these deals, you can use the code SIZZLE15, and you'll get the same price as XP members. Uh, if you're an XP member, you're already getting the lowest price, but $56.57 on that. It's all the Kingdom Hearts content. You guys already know I'm a broken record with this. I think from a value standpoint, how many hours of gameplay you're getting, it's good. Kingdom Hearts 1 is absolutely, absolutely dated. Like, that cannot be understated. I'm playing through Kingdom Hearts 1 right now, and oh my goodness. The, some of the dated elements of that game are ridiculous. It's a 2002 game, so it's to be expected. But man, I guess I didn't expect it as much as I should have. But that'll do it for me. Again, first Templar available free over at GOG. Humble Choice is tremendous and a lot of great Steam PC game deals over at Green Man Gaming. Links to everything is always in the description box below. If you do buy anything, obviously I do get a little bit of affiliate commission and that is much appreciated. That's going to do it for me. Your thoughts down below. As always, thanks for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting, but as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.